Move along, buddy, move along. Hey, Corporal. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns, I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. I see you, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with that gun, am I right? St. John, come in. I've got another job for you. Come to the Diamond Lake Outpost. Copy that, Captain. St. John out. Scrap. Can use this. Huh, that's interesting. This is it.
What do we got? Gotcha. Colonel, I've spotted him. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yes, sir. Colonel, I'll get him. Say John out. All right. Oh, come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! Colonel, I've spotted him. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yes, sir, Colonel, I'll get him. Say John out. All right. Oh, come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! Shoot the bike, Dick! Shoot the bike!
Screamer! No! Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Colonel, I've spotted him. Let's see. Sir, Colonel, I'll get him. St. John out. All right. Oh, come on, you asshole. Damn it. No! Shoot the bike, Dick. Shoot the bike. Come on, Corporal. Why are you doing this? What the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Oh, let go. Please, just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I stashed you, I swear. Sorry, pal. Tell it to the colonel. Colonel, Freaks. I've got him. Alive. Transmitting me. coordinates now. Me alive. Corporal, good. Please. I'm sending oh. a patrol now. Report back to me. Garrett out. I can fix this. Let's go.
Corp. Hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Salazar. Just call me Sal. Corporal, you take care now. Ah, Corporal, man it... Hey, D, I got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. I uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. Let's see it, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with that gun, am I right? That's all I got for now. Hey, Corporal. How's life? Hey, Sarge. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's... This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm, I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm going to go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shade. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. Though I got to admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with. The... Hey, you uh, you been inside the ark yet? Uh, the caves here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived, from the colonel himself. Come on, even you got to give the man some credit for the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This'll get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing, it's just... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight.
There's a community college east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a beer side. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But, uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring, do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know, I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. Once, before, you know, career day, they invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. <laughs> 